Tony Schumacher survived a parachute malfunction and landed in the sand trap Friday at Auto Club Raceway at Pomona during qualifying for the O'Reilly Auto Club Winter Nationals. Still, he expressed faith that his U.S. Army dragster team would have everything ready for Saturday's final two qualifying sessions. After all, it's the same crew that sent him on the 3.758 second pass at 328.14 miles per hour and right to the number one spot in the top fuel field. No worse for wear, Schumacher called his wild ride a little bouncy, but said that's to be expected when traveling two football fields per second. I looked at the sand, and the sand was beautiful, man. It's like, <laughs> you got it really groomed nicely, and I actually moved the car over because where I, where I was lined up, it looked like it was a little higher, so I moved it up, let the tire sink in, and it was incredibly smooth. The slide into the sand trap might have been the first real test for the cockpit canopy that Schumacher has championed for more than a year, and he said the device aced the test. Almost scary. You almost get a false sense of security. But had I not had it on there, I'd have been covered in dust. My helmet would have been destroyed from the rocks coming in. And I had nothing. You know, so uh, I would not want to drive the car. And I'll say it a thousand times. I would not want to drive the car without it. It's, I, I don't know why everyone doesn't have it on. He said his Mike Green led team will go over the car thoroughly. But the part that disappoints me is we ran a 75. The car was amazing. And now you go back and you go, okay, now you're going to pull your whole fuel system off and put a new one on. You're going to pull all your, your electronics and your management systems off. But the, the car, when I get back in the morning, it's going to look perfect. Tony Schumacher has flown over a wall, ridden out passes in which his car literally has broken into pieces, and he recognizes that accidents and mishaps simply are part of the job. Besides, he regarded Friday's trouble as a good omen. Kathy Fisher, CompetitionPlus.tv.